All right guys, what's up? Welcome back to the One Man Startup. In this video, we're gonna talk about Git and using it to save our source code. Um, this actually all stems from a comment left on episode 13 uh, by Sathish Kumar. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, and he was asking for the source code from the tutorial, which actually is a great idea. And I am going to release that right after this video, but I want to show you guys how to use Git. If you don't, if you're not already familiar with that, how to set up basically a Git repository and sync your code to GitHub. Um, so basically what this is doing is saving your code um, in a, in a server, right? It's just saving your code similar to how Google drive works, it's saving your code uh, on the cloud. And, the reason you want to do this is if anything happens to your computer or, I mean, that's the main thing. If anything happens to your computer, you're not going to be completely back at square one. You can pretty much get your code as long as you have, you can make it public and anyone can get it at that point, uh, which is what I'll do with this, with the code for this project. Or you could um, make it a private repository and then you can get your code from anywhere just by having your login information. All right, so let me show you how to set that up. All right, so the first thing we want to do is just make sure we actually have Git installed on our computer. I'm not really going to walk through doing that, but I will link down below um, a resource to install Git if you don't have that. To check if you have it, just uh, open up a terminal. And right now I'm in the travel budget directory, which is um, which is where the where our project is, but you don't even necessarily need to be here to check if you have git. All you need to do is type git dash dash version. And if you get something back, that means git is installed. Um, you also want to make sure you're logged in to git. So one way to quickly do that to see who is logged in is to just do git config. And then you can just type or dash dash global. So this will be the global user of this, essentially of this computer who signed in. Uh, and then just do user.name. Oh, okay, I spelled user wrong there. All right, and that's my name, Dave Feliski. So I'm signed in under my Git account, which is exactly what I want. Um, so over here, this is actually my GitHub account here. And that's who I'm signed in as on my computer. So, all right, there's a few ways we can actually create our repository, um, but I'm gonna show you how to do it just actually through Android Studio. All right, so in our Android Studio project, which is, this is our travel budget project, we want to go ahead and click this VCS tab up at the top, and then, which is, this is version control systems. And then we want to enable the version control integration. And this right here is asking us what type of version control we want to use. So we're going to use Git in these. So choose Git and then hit OK. And now Android Studio is integrated with the version control system, Git. So as you can see right now, all of these files over here turned red, which just means that we haven't which means that they're new files that haven't been saved into a commit in our Git repo. All right, great. So right now we have Git integration in Android Studio. So let's go ahead and create a new repository and push it up to GitHub. So to do this, we want to again, go to the version control tab up here. And then we want to go to this tab import into version control and then choose share project on github so this is now asking for our login and password so i'll just go ahead and do that all right and then now i'm logged into my github account which again is the same one i showed earlier this one right here and it's now asking me to create a repository name. So travel budget looks good. I'll just call it that. Uh, I'm not gonna make it a private repository, but if you check that, that'll mean no one else can access it. The remote origin is good for now. That would be, this is just gonna be a new brand, a new, this will be the origin of our repository right here, what we're about to push up. 
Uh, the description we can just leave blank for now. And then if we click share, it's going to ask us what we want to put in our initial commit. So this is saying there's 47 files in our Android Studio project right here. And all of them, or none of them, have been put into version control. So we actually do want to put all of them into it. And our message for the initial commit can just still stay initial commit. So click add there. All right, so now this should be uploading the project to GitHub. And down here, you can see a message that says that it was successfully shared. And if you click on that, it actually will open up the link right in GitHub travel budget, which is what we put. And this is some like generic documentation here for readme. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and update that off the off screen. But that's actually this file right here, this readme file. So this is just the default stuff. You can change that to be kind of what your app is about and link to you know useful areas there. Uh, mine will be updated shortly after this video so you can check out the updated version. Normally here you would tell people how to install your code or how to use it. Uh, so if that makes sense with your project, you can do that. All right, great. So now if you notice all of this stuff is back to being the normal color, so that just means it's all been saved essentially. Okay, so if you check out this home view file, you'll notice if you start adding things, like if we add a new trip for instance, you'll notice this green block over here. That just means that something was added to the file since we've last committed it. So um, let's actually not make this screen, let's just make it another place, we'll do Florence. And we'll leave everything else the same. But now you can see that this just means something was changed. Um, so with that, you'll you'll be able to see right in your file what's being changed. Now, if we remove something, like let's say we remove these two at the top and save that, you'll see it just puts a little arrow there. That means something was removed. And if you click on it, you can actually see what was removed right there. So it is pretty helpful to have Git integrated right into the right into the Android Studio like this because you can see things as they're changing. And you don't need to worry about if something, like if you were to start working on a feature and it got uh, a bit, you know, you kind of like dug into a hole and got messed up, you could always revert your code back because now we have this version control. All right, great. So we're set up on Git now. Um, how I'm going to do this for the rest of the videos is I'm actually going to go back to the past two videos, episode 12 and 13, and update those with the code that was done just in those videos. And then what I'm going to do is create a branch. We can see uh, in our repository here, we have no branches. It's just the one branch, which is master. The master branch is always going to be kept most up to date with the, with the, the most current version of the app. But then I'm going to have branches for each episode where it's relevant to to have it stopped at that point where only what was covered in that episode was done so for instance the the past episode with the the tab bar navigation that will be one branch and it won't get updated anymore it'll just stop and be frozen at that tab bar navigation um, code and then same thing with the with the card view code that's going to be another branch and that'll be updated only to where the card view is now. Now that currently will be the same as master, but that's going to change going forward. Master will always be the most up to date to the app. Um, so yeah, you can hopefully that keeps it a bit organized for you guys and you can follow along the code as you're watching the videos. Uh, and I'll link all of the GitHub repo branch that's relevant to the video in the description of the video as well. Okay, great. I think that's good. That's all we're going to do with Git and GitHub. Um, hopefully this helps you guys out. And definitely, if you're following along with your code, definitely start saving your stuff in Git and pushing it up to some sort of repository, which you could use either GitHub or I've used um, Bitbucket a lot in the past. Uh, Bitbucket, I think, I mean, they're very similar. They both use Git as the, as the base. So, so yeah, check those out. All right, that's going to be it for today. Ciao for now.